Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Uh. Too many times you done had an undeserve it. I feel like everybody gonna wanna serve it. Oh, baby, when you wanna get into the Murphy. Yeah, yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Devon Terrell in raw form, and welcome to another Help Me Devon Raw Review. And today, in this Help Me Devon Raw Review, I'll be reviewing the Jay-Z Microphone Black Hole 2, which is a cardio condenser microphone with a very interesting look. As you can see, I can put my two fingers through this. I can look through this microphone. It's a very interesting looking microphone with a dope sound to boot as well. I like to only show you guys stuff that I really, really like. I've tested this mic for some time and I think that it could be great within your mic locker for a number of applications. So in order for us to get an idea of what this microphone sounds like, I'm going to put this microphone up against my AKG C414 XLS just to give you an idea of what it sounds like in comparison with other microphones that you may have uh, in your locker. First, what we'll do is we'll do a test where we'll just do more of the speaking volume. And then from there, after that, we'll go and we'll sing into this microphone to check and see how it mixes within music, which is where I think it really shines as far as that's concerned. It has a nice top end, very transparent sound, and it's very flat across its uh, uh, frequency response. So let's get into us talking into this microphone in comparison with our AKG C414 uh, XLS, and let's hear what this sounds like so we can identify some of its characteristics. Okay, and this is a mic showcase of the Jay-Z microphone, uh, the Black Hole 2, and on the right-hand side, you have the C414 XLS. S. Now, right off the beginning, you can tell and hear that the Jay-Z microphone is a lot brighter, has a, a little bit more of an open sound, as opposed to the AKG C414, you'll notice that it has more of a low-end uh, uh, sound as far as it has a little bit more of a boost in, that, in those low mids, and you can notice that right off of rip. So, I'm making sure that I'm an equal distance between both of them. I'm also making sure I'm talking straight ahead to you so that I do not favor one microphone over the other. I'm also making sure that I'm a, about four inches off of the mic so that you can still get an idea and sense of presence between the two and how they handle it. You'll notice that with the C414 uh, microphone that there is more of a mid-range presence, kind of like in that low mid-range sense. And I also made sure I didn't use a, a pop filter so that you can get an idea of uh, how these microphones take plosives like now don't make fun of me now just because you hear more plosives in the AKG C414 doesn't mean that it's uh, worse off than the actual uh, uh, Jay-Z microphone. What that just means is that this microphone over here, the AKG C414, has more of a boost or it captures more of that sound. So if you're trying to catch more of a bottom end tone of guitars or other instruments, this thing is going to make sure and get that stuff, that low mid stuff, kind of like in that 60 hertz range, kind of like that kickish range. And you'll notice on this microphone, there actually seems to be somewhat of a dip in the that range which more accentuates for vocals that feels like this microphone was was really created with with vocals in mind now this is one of my favorite microphones the c414 and i use this microphone a lot for my own vocals uh for a lot of different reasons uh i can see myself using my c414 more for rap vocals and things of that nature and i can see myself coming over here to the jay-z microphone to really get some stuff like r&b stuff or melodic type rap stuff and the only reason is because this microphone is so much brighter than the C414. Once again, not a bad thing. It just pick your poison for the right application. Now, let's use uh, and see how these things handle S's and T's. So this is me making shorts and seeing how these microphones handles S, S's, and T's. I am now extremely light-headed and trying to figure out how Z's microphones handles S's and T's. Do not make this a video and make fun of me. So I'm listening to this microphone. I feel like the Jay-Z microphone would mix really easy with modern day kind of uh, uh, melodic hip hop or uh, 
R&B type of stuff. And I just always adore my C414 XLS when it comes to rap vocals or just stuff that I need a lot of presence on. This microphone right here has a ton of presence that I like a lot. And this microphone has a, a lot of high end that will surely just cut right through the mix and probably will be really easy to mix with so you can pick your poisons with the two microphones uh, and use your own ears and opinions as far as what you would like um to use for certain applications but both of these mics are amazing and great take your pick and that's basically going to end our little uh display Okay, so I wanted to give you that test just to give you an idea and identify the microphone's characteristics. If we stay solely just talking about the Jay-Z microphone Black Hole 2, you can hear that this thing has an extremely open sound. It does have a nice richness and clarity and a transparency to it that I like a lot. This type of microphone is something that I believe and know that is gonna shred through a mix, cut through a mix. Uh, I see it being used more for singing vocals rather than rap vocals. When it comes to my AK, AGC414, I usually like to pull over to that when I'm doing more of a harder rap vocal because it does capture a little bit more of that low end. But this Jay-Z microphone Black, uh, Black Hole 2 isn't bad at that at all. It actually captures a nice low end, but I just feel like it's more for the singier vocals um, uh, as far as that's concerned. I can see this capturing instruments as well, being that it has such an open and transparent sound. So if I'm trying to capture some really dope guitars and stuff like that, I can definitely see myself pulling over to the black hole too to do so. Okay, so like I told you before, this thing I feel and believe it shreds through a mix, meaning it cuts through the mix really well. So let's sing into this microphone with some bells and whistles on it and let's get an idea of what it sounds like actually in music being recorded. Okay, great. So let's test out this microphone with actually recording somewhat of a song so you can get an idea of how it mixes uh, into music. I'm gonna use one of my Help Me Devon templates from the helpmedevon.info store just to load this thing up and just get something going out the gate and let's see what it sounds like. I'm also about to scat a melody. I'm gonna say absolutely nothing. I'm just gonna freestyle and just go for it. Let's see what happens. Don't judge me. Whoa, yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, uh. Too many times we done had an undeserve it. I feel like everybody gonna wanna deserve it. Oh, baby, when you wanna get to the Murphys. But every time when you got it, I feel like when you got it and you stop the way you going on. And nothing else in more than more. But every time you wanna get nothing, I feel like in the one that coming up for something. When it got far back, it made a amazing change. Something to think of what might change. Everybody know that we wanna see change. But I'm gonna go when I see that one and all. And I love it, hate the way you move in this Cool to see the things you do in this Want another one and something new And I just want you to know I won't find you Every time you fall through See when I gon' call you Baby, it's my part, do I fall through, yeah Don't make fun of me I messed up bad times, it's cool You get an idea of what's going on here Okay, so let's quickly look at this microphone's frequency response. So, when you look at the frequency response, you can clearly see that it's not much of a big boost in certain frequency range. You'll see that for the most part, it's relatively flat and with it being flat and sounding the way it does, I really enjoy it. It has a transparent sound uh, and it would feel like, and I would assume that it has a boost, a really decent boost in the top end, but really the boost is pretty slight. So you can see for the most part, there's a little bit of a boost in the low end uh, to accentuate those parts. And then there's a little bit of a boost in that 4K range to accentuate that top end, which I could tell that's probably where that, a little bit of that definition and clarity and richness come from. And you'll also see that right here, it's a cardioid pattern, uh, which basically is very, very typical when it comes to vocal microphones, instrument microphones, uh, and things of that nature. Okay, great. So let's test out this microphone with actually recording somewhat of a song so you can get an idea of how it mixes uh, into music. I'm going to use one of my Help Me Devon templates from the helpmedevon.info store just to load this thing up and just get something going out the gate. And let's see what it sounds like. 
I'm also about to scat a melody. I'm gonna say absolutely nothing. I'm just gonna freestyle and just go for it. Let's see what happens. Don't judge me. Whoa, yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, uh. Too many times you done had an undeserve it. I feel like everybody gonna wanna deserve it. Oh, baby, when you wanna get into the Murphys. But every time when you got it, I feel like when you got it and you stop the way you going on. And nothing else in the most. But every time you wanna get nothing. I feel like in the one they coming up for something. When it got far back, it made the main sense change. Something to change and why my change. Everybody know they went and wanna see change. But I wanna go when I see that one and lost. And I love it, hate the way you move in this. Cool to see the things you do in this. Wanting none and wanting something new. And I just want you to know I won't find you every time you fall through. See when I gon' call you, baby. My father, my father, yeah. Don't make fun of me. I messed up bad times. It's cool. You get an idea of what's going on here. So after hearing myself sing into this microphone with one of my templates, I it mixes really well. It set really nice in the mix, and I just like how it sounded. It sounded bright but not too essy it just felt good within my mix so like i was thinking this mic does cut through your mix really well when it comes to singing your vocals so i know in my head when it comes to female vocals this thing is going to probably uh just have a really nice sharp clear rich sound when it comes to those types of things uh with singing vocals i i would want to try it on instruments as well if i'm trying to get uh, uh some type of instrument sound that really cuts through the mix i just think that this mic mixes really well with modern day music as far as the sonics of what they create after hearing all of those tests and how the microphone sounds am i saying that the uh akg uh microphone is better than the black hole microphone absolutely not i like for you guys to draw your own conclusions after hearing this microphone in different applications do i recommend the microphone absolutely do i feel like it can have a place within your mic locker as far as different applications for what you're using it for for sure i like it i think that for pop vocals these things will sound great i also think for just singing vocals in general, this thing sounds pretty awesome. Uh, instrument wise, if you're looking for a clean, transparent sound that cap captures the right amount of low end for your vocal or your instrument, I think this, this microphone is great for that case. But I would like for you guys to draw your own conclusions about the microphone. You've heard all the tests, you can hear it back a million times and play the video to, to basically uh, you know, decide for yourself. But what I will do is I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to get it for yourselves if you're interested in doing that and remember the vocal chain and template that i use when i was singing absolutely nothing is also at helpmedevon.info so that was my review of the jay-z microphone black hole 2 i hope you guys enjoyed that review please let me know any comments questions or concerns that you have in the comments below make sure you also follow us at help me devon on the instagram and also make sure you follow our discord community with a bunch of uh aspiring engineers and artists just like yourself trading game and just basically getting uh around each other and picking up on stuff so hope you guys enjoyed and until next time you guys